Hi, it's Rob here, and I'm actually in a live event. So we must have, what, a good hundred-odd VIP members? Give us a wave, everyone. All right, so I just got asked a question, and the question was, how do you plan your content? Because we all know when we go on a live feed video how annoying it is when people go, hi, Hit like, share, look at my dinner, look at my pants, look at, you know, ooh, you know, no, no one cares about that. We care about the content and the message. So I'm going to do a live demonstration. So this is what I do, which I think you'll find useful for, and I think you will, David, on planning content for live feeds, podcasts, or anything else. What I simply do is get my laptop out there and just note three, five, or ten salient points. Now, it's really important that you just put a bullet. So let's say I'm doing how to do a live feed. I'll just put, you know, an intriguing title, start, pattern interrupt at the start, content call to action finish, about five minutes. I'll just list it out. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll, so if I just show you live, there's the laptop. Let's just assume that they're in my notes there. They've got to be bullet points really succinct. And then I'll place the tripod on the laptop. Now, I know you can't see if you're doing the live there. And I'll do my live feed as is, but just there is the content. And so because my camera is there and the content is just there, you can't actually see that I'm looking away. And so I look like I'm rolling this content out, but, it, but it's there as a um, prompt. Now, sometimes I might even say I've made a few notes, so people will know I'm not just going to ramble. There's nothing wrong with that. But what you don't want to do is read, you know, and read from the... Because, obviously, you can see my receding hairline, which is not very good. Um, uh, and bang, and what it, what it does is it keeps you on point so that you don't ramble. Because if you don't prepare content, you will just ramble and people won't be interested. If you script content, it's not natural, so you look like you're natural. What you can also do is, in the next three minutes, I'm going to teach you one, two, three, four, five, six. You can read them out. Hi, you're live. Hi. Um, so then you can get people interested in the content. And then at the end, you can summarize one, two, three, four, five. And then if you've got any calls to action, like join my webinar or join my Facebook page or whatever, then you can do that at the end and you can have that written down. Because the amount of times I've done content, and the most important bit, like the call to action, I've forgotten. Are you live in me live? This is weird. <laughs> this is a try, a triple matrix. So yeah, hopefully you, yeah, um, yeah, hopefully you found that useful, David. Can we get a massive round of applause? Thank you. Thank you.